Welcome to our series on understanding the heart's anatomy. Before we dive into the complex structures and functions, let's clarify a common misconception regarding the heart's orientation within the body. Most illustrations depict the heart with its apex pointing downwards, a position that is not anatomically accurate when considering the body's actual structure. This traditional representation, often referred to as the Valentine's position, resembles how hearts are examined in autopsy rooms rather than their natural positioning in the chest. Correcting this misconception is vital for accurately understanding heart anatomy. Positioned within the thoracic cavity, the heart rests between the lungs, seated atop the diaphragm in the middle mediastinum. The mediastinum is defined as the anatomical region located in the central part of the chest, between the lungs. This area, known as the middle mediastinum, serves as a central hub for the heart, pericardium origins of the great vessels, and various nerves. If we take a look at this specimen here, an important thing to note is that the heart sits in a membrane known as the pericardium. It is covered by it. This here is the pericardium. Now looking at the heart in situ, which means in its natural position within the body, we see it sits on the diaphragm, pointing not downwards but forward, downward, and towards the left, while the base faces backwards. This orientation is critical for medical assessments. Now that we have seen how the heart is oriented in the chest, we can move forward 